There are a lot of benefits to making strides a part of your running routine. I'm here to talk about the benefits and how you can do a stride. Welcome to the Ageless Runner. I'm Ralph. If you're new here, I'm all about giving you useful tips that you can use to have a safe and healthy running life at any age, especially as you grow older. So strides are a little different than intervals. Strides are a little shorter, usually 20 to 30 seconds. And they're not an all-out effort. There's a definite structure to a stride, but they can provide a lot of benefits to you. So let's talk about the uh, four or five benefits you can get from a stride. So one of the first benefits of running strides is to help with your form and your balance because it's very important to do strides with proper form kind of training your body to do that at a faster pace, but yet maintain your balance. And the second benefit uh, for running strides is improved running efficiency because you're spending a little more time running at those faster speeds. You're going to improve your body and get it used to running those faster speeds and improve its efficiency. Now, the third benefit, again, because we're running a little faster is we're strengthening the muscles in our legs. We all know as we get older, we can lose muscle mass. So running strides can help delay or decrease that, that muscle loss. And the fourth benefit is running strides can help improve your running speed. If you're interested in running faster, incorporating strides into your uh, running uh, training will be a real plus for that. And finally, the last benefit is that strides make a good warm up for a race. If you're going to do a race, you do a few strides that really get the body warmed up and, and working very well. In fact, that kind of leans into when should you be doing strides? Well, typically strides are done after a run. After you've done an easy run, run you might do uh, three to five strides at the end of that to get some of these benefits. Or as I said earlier, do them before a race to get that warm up. So how do we do a stride? Well, there's a couple things we want to talk about before we talk about the mechanics of the stride. And that is the first thing you need is a long, flat uh, running space, you know, like on a road or a track. Thumb something in the order of 50 to 100 meters just to give you enough distance that you can run, run a stride. And second thing is, even though we'll be running faster in a stride, we don't want to run at our max pace. This is not a sprint. You want to run something like 75 to 80 percent of your max speed. So nothing super intense, but definitely faster uh, than your easy run. The third thing that's very important is that you need to make sure you maintain proper running form even when you're running faster. So you have that, you know, midfoot to forefoot landing, shoulders relaxed, head upright, hands relaxed arms moving forward, all those things you do to have good running form when you're doing your easy run, make sure you maintain that when you're doing your stride. And lastly, the last rule is recovery time between strides. It's really important to give your body enough time to recover. I'm talking like 90 to 120 seconds. Crowding the strides together will not benefit you. It could only work against you because then you'd be spending more time in an anaerobic zone than aerobically. So give yourself enough recovery time between strides to realize all the benefits. Now, a stride is really broken up. I like to look at it in three sections. There's the, the speed up, then there's the time at pace, and then there's a brief slowdown. So if we were to imagine a stride being 30 seconds, it doesn't have to be 30 seconds, but 20 to 30 is kind of the, the right level. So let's assume it's going to be about 30 seconds. The first 10 seconds is where you start a slow jog and build up to that speed you want to run at. And then once you get to that speed, you run at that for about 15 seconds or about half the time you're doing the stride. And then you take that last five seconds or so and you slow down to a walk. So build up about a third of the time, run about half the time, and then a brief uh, slowdown. And then again, as I talked about that recovery, give yourself 90 to 120 seconds recovery, get your uh, uh, you know, your breathing back to normal, your heart rate down a little bit. Now, if you're doing the strides and towards the end of the stride, you find that you're breathing really hard. You're, you're running either too long, you're running too fast. So you need to back that off a little bit. So typically target three to five strides, three to six, whatever works best for you. Do them after your easy run. Uh, doing those will help you reap all those benefits I talked about earlier. Uh, it's a really easy thing to incorporate. It does add time to your overall run, of course, but it can be, uh, pay off a lot of dividends over time. The more regularly you do them, the better off you'll be. If you only do them once a week, again, if you do them once a week, you're getting a couple of minutes running faster, which is good for your body. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love you to scroll down there and hit that like icon. That would, that would really help my channel. If you're new here, boy, I'd love to have you stick around and be a member of the Ageless Runner family. Hit that subscribe icon. And while you're at it, don't forget to tick that bell notification icon. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. So thanks again and happy running.